Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you gotta be careful with those. I know. Look how bubbly it gets. They'll spit. They don't spit, Frank. Who's the person? Every family has the one person that always forgets how to open carbonated beverages. Who's yours? What do you mean? Like my mom, every single time she opens a bottle of seltzer, she's it goes like, everywhere. She's erratic with she's it. A, she, it she's irresponsibly open, open shit. She is very irresponsible with the way she goes about it. And it's never changed. She's been opening these drinks for 59 years, possibly. I don't know that... You don't know how old your mom is? No, no, I know she's 59, but oh. I don't think she was a newborn opening bottles. That's By the way, I don't know if people know this, but our moms have the same birthday. Very same birthday. Like, that's crazy. Different years. Your mom is in her 80s now. Frank, I'm going to tell Liz <laughs> you said that. If um, she is, she looks way better than my mom. Although. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, oh, I'm but dumb. yeah, it was uh, on May 18th. Kind of crazy. Yeah, that is kind of the same nuts. birthday. They're both Tauruses, right? Is that the, the thing? The sign? You think I know the answer? You to know that? why I know? Because my brother got a tattoo of my my mom's. He does. Yes, sign. he did. Yeah. Oh my god! On his chest. Yeah. And underneath it has like the typical like tattoo lettering. This is like Nancy, I think. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Something stupid. It's beautiful. Love eh, his mom. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all right. They say if you're gonna get a tattoo of anyone's name on you, it should be your kids. What's her Chinese New Year? Oh, that's a good question. Or, what is it called? Chinese Chinese New Year. You're right. The monkey. The we're sign. the monkey, bro. We're the monkeys. I know. We're the we're the year of the monkey. That was fire, bro. Chinese? What does that mean, bro? Maybe it, I believe the Chinese one. I don't believe the white girl one. What's the white girl one? Like you're either like like a, a, like a, a Taurus, pumpkin, bro. You're like, like a pumpkin spice, or you're a no. Like it's like yo. Oh, look. I was born in the year of the UGG boot. What does <laughs> the Chinese? Year of the monkey mean? It's like you're playful and like you're funny and you're a little like. I think you're just describing monkeys. Why the fuck do you think that's the year of it, uh, Joe? I have to go shut off the air. Oh, I just realized yeah, shut that. The, air off. Oh, the boy. year of the monkey. We're gonna cut this. Cut it. <laughs> fuck. I forgot and we're back. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> we never, like, Nothing ever happened. It's like we never left. It's called editing. Haha. <laughs> um, but okay, year of the monkey. I think the year of the monkey. Because I, bro, when we were in elementary school, this was like the biggest thing. People love to talk about this shit. Chinese stuff, right? Yeah. No one talks about Chinese stuff anymore. What are you talking about TikTok? That's Chinese stuff. Is it? Uh oh. The Chinese. They own TikTok. Yeah, bro. That's you never... not good, right? I don't know. Oh, whoa. Why not? No, no, they're the enemies. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you just said that, and I froze. Yeah. No. Um. No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> It's we like we're so figure, scared. No, but China, out. you know, probably. I don't know. I'd probably run a country a little differently just from what I've seen. But then again, I don't know. You know? Oh, I got the hiccups. Here See, we go. Look, he's so nervous, dude. China's getting me. Yeah, I think so. China's getting me. Yeah, but they own the talk. Also, you want to hear something funny? I heard. About China? Yeah. Okay. I heard that since they control the algorithm or whatever, right? They know it all. They try to keep American algorithms like idiot shit. That's why we get a bunch We're of stupid. stupid idiots yeah, that's, that who are famous sense. and they're like Absolutely. dressing up as a cowboy and doing a dance yeah, with a Billy yeah, Ray yeah. Cyrus song. Yes. But in China, they feed uh, like... Like they get more like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, like innovation. And, and like and Gordon Ramsay. Kids who want to be astronauts Yeah, and, shit. and we get fucking Logan Paul. Not I guess I can't talk shit about Logan Paul. Well, he's the face of the whole thing. So, he is, yeah, and he'll he, punch my head clean off of my shoulders. Probs, probs, probs. Uh, but like, yeah, we get like the stupid people. Like, like, <laughs> who who's like real dumb? Who's real dumb on on the internet? Oh, all of us. I oh, should yeah, say. I guess yeah. we're kind of we um, us. Yeah, that's that's definitely two people that <laughs> yep, I can think of. Yeah, we're on there now. Okay, Chinese year of the monkey. Yeah. So the the years are 1956. Shout out to my old, my all my 56 viewers. Uh, 68. Yeah, that was a joke. That was a joke. Um, 1968, 1980, 1992. I didn't realize that it was 12 years. Because there's 12 animals. There's like the year of the dragon, the year of the rat. It's rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Bro, imagine being born in the year of the cock. That's got to be awful. Yeah. What? So it's like there's all, all these personalities. Imagine being you're the pig. Yeah. It's like, what are you? I'm a fucking little piggy. Yeah. You're like, ew, pig. That's that's a good. By the way, that and crap need to come back. Calling people pigs. I've been calling myself a pig lately. And really? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I love I love. Can the I pig. start calling you a pig? Sure. All right. I like cool. pig. You racist pig. Well, you don't have to add. <laughs> 
not allow that one. What the fuck? Hold on a second. Well, you know, it's a thing. In China, people born in a year of the monkey are called monkeys. This Whoa. site. Oh, we're probably going to have to go to a different site. <laughs> they haven't said anything. This whole thing. Frankie, that's what it says. I'm not even kidding you. Yeah, go go about telling, calling a bunch of people, you know, monkeys. See how that works out for you. Okay, now you're... Okay, here we go. Finally, I have something. Uh, people born in the year of the monkey have a, have magnetic personalities. That 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 I do. And are witty. I'm definitely that. And intelligent. I am uh, three for three. <laughs> Personality traits like mischievousness. That's me. I like to pull pranks. Curiosity. Um, mm. I'm curious about pulling pranks. Yeah. And cleverness make them very naughty. Naughty? I mean, you got the naughty factor. There's sex toys all over this room. There actually is sex toys everywhere. There's, I saw vibrating eggs. Um, I don't think they vibrate. I re- I still don't or know ma- what those it are. It said masturbating I th- eggs. I think that you take the egg apart and then you just kind of like suck your suck your fuck with your with an egg. Suck your fuck with an egg. Yeah. Huh? Monkeys are masters of practical jokes. That's me. Really? I hate practical jokes. I love a good practical joke. I tr- I pulled one practical joke in my life. And I got slapped in the face. <laughs> your dad? Mom. Okay. Oh, your mom hit you. I want to say it was my mom. <laughs> Doesn't say, uh, Your mom's not so, a slapper, as far as I know. M- me and Keith put a bucket of water oh, yeah. on top of the door so that when you open the door, it'll come down of on course, you. Of course, yeah. So there's a thing. When you're eight, you don't really do this well. No, because you're dumb. The, the bucket is supposed to tip. Yes. But I just made it so the bucket would fall. So the so, bucket just hit my so, mom. <laughs> filled with water. So a bang. Bucket, a pail. Filled, a pail. Filled with water. Yes. Struck your mom on the fucking crown of her skull. And she... Guess what? The water, by the way, went all over the hallway. <laughs> Not on her? No. Okay. So, because the bucket hit her head, the water just spilled out. Yeah. She turned around, pow! And I was like, I deserve that. That one, that one made sense. I've pulled two of the what I would consider the best practical jokes. Actually, I've pulled a couple. Some of them are pretty good. You're pretty practical. I'm pretty practical. One, um, my brother... This is a weird one. This is the weird one of the two. My brothers wiped their ass like when they went to go shit. And, <laughs> and they put it in a cup and hid it in my room. So my room smelled like... Human shit. Okay. Uh, you know. So. When I, are you going to do the joke? So I because... got him back. I took the, the shit riddled toilet paper out of the cup. And I set it up and taped it so it was right at eye level when they left their room. So they walked out of the room and they walked right into a shit covered paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> you and your brothers were having shit wars. <laughs> yeah, with baby. human shit. That's what it's like with boys in a house, you know. No, I've been in a house with boys. There was like farting and like pushing and shoving. I don't think there was not a lot of farting that I remember. Uh, there didn't have to be farting. There was shitting, Frank, which is much worse. And then the other one that was pretty funny was I got, I, I, there was like a point in my teenage years where I got bad nosebleeds for no reason. Okay. Might, it might have been a, mm-hmm. might have been a dad. Maybe the elevation. Well, <laughs> it's probably the elevation. Yeah. Uh, and I got one really bad one time, and I covered, like, multiple paper towels with blood, like, drenched. Okay. So I heard my sister pulling up to the house, so I laid on the floor. I covered Are my you face. fucking insane? <laughs> I covered my face in the paper towels and, and wiped a knife with it and put it next to my face. Frankie! <laughs> you did that? Yeah, it was pretty sick. It was. It got her. She was terrified. Bro, I, yeah, you fucking created a murder scene, you psychopath. How old were you? Fifteen, sixteen. I would have. T- <laughs> I would have took that knife and fucking stuck it right through your trachea, dude. Yeah, it was. It was a, that one. She was like real. Like she walked in. I remember she walked in and she was freaking out. Bro, you can like traumatize I, people like that. Well, she found out it was a joke, so. Did she just scream? She was like, oh my fucking, what the fuck? And I started, like, she saw me laughing. So I, I, like, stood up. I was like, gotcha. I would have just socked you as hard as I could, dude. (laughs) Kicked me in the face. Bro, I would have punched you as hard as I could. That is an insane, you wiped the blood on the knife. This kid's a psychopath, dude. That is a crazy story. It was a really good prank. I'm using. I don't know that that falls under practical yeah, jokes. Yeah, it does. A practical joke is like, oh, I'll pull my finger and you fart. No, you're fucking creating no. murder scenes. I would, my at that point in time, my sister thought like she was very scared. That's the whole point is you want to scare people. I also one time hid under the uh, like the like couch in her room when she had like a futon, 
and I grabbed her ankle and she walked in. That's a classic. That's good. That's a good one. That's fine. The blood one was really good, though. Frank, that's horrible, dude. <laughs> I said horrible. I'm just kidding. I'm not fucking dead. Yeah, that's what it was. And, oh, uh, laugh. Hello. <laughs> How was your day? Bro, that's crazy. You wouldn't do... So, all right, let me ask you this. That's not very witty or intelligent. What are the, what are the years of your siblings and parents so we can try to see if this Chinese zodiac sign works? Um, so, Keith is 90. <laughs> Didn't even continue reading. It says monkeys are masters of practical jokes because they like playing most of the time. Yeah. Although they don't have bad intentions, their pranks sometimes hurt other people's feelings. <laughs> well, <laughs> sort of their pranks sometimes traumatize their sisters. Well, listen, you know, my sister wasn't traumatized. She was and is okay. Oh, there's more. Monkeys are fast learners and crafty opportunists. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, I don't know. I was trying to get a read on you. They have many interests and need partners who are capable of stimulating them don't we all yeah, well yeah i think that's pretty i think everyone likes everyone stimulation likes that, yeah oh! while some <laughs> while you some said, like the essentials yeah while some like the uh, eccentric take your time take three eccentric okay nature of monkeys others don't trust their sly restless and inquisitive nature although they are clever and creative monkeys can't always exhibit their talents properly they ha they they like to accept challenges and per prefer urban life to rural life i uh, urban life is fun urban life urban we grew up in an urban environment mm -hmm. astoria was pretty urban maybe even a little suburban urban lucky numbers four and nine literally have neither to do with me neither mean nothing to me either <laughs> The lunar days are the 14th and the 28th. Still nothing. Lucky colors, white, blue, and gold. Don't care for either of those. No. And white's like, not a color. I like green. Lucky flowers. Crepe myrtle. What? That's not a flower. That's a food. That sounds like a That's pie. A, that sounds like a dying ghost. And then a chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum. 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 Okay. Lucky... Lucky directions. Okay. Listen, Forward. China. <laughs> no, literally, the north, northwest, and west. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, that makes sense. You know, you always want to be heading north. We're determined. Us monkeys want to go in the right direction. But what about west? Well, you know, veer off a little to the left. You know. Lucky months. The 8th and 12th Chinese lunar months. We don't know what those are, dude. Unlucky things. Oh, here we go. This might be, this might be. <laughs> Powerball. Unlucky numbers. Two and seven. Those are like everyone's lucky Those numbers. Those are everyone's favorite numbers, basically. <laughs> Derek Jeter and Lucky 7. Unlucky colors. Pink. <gasps> yeah, it's fine. I like And pink. red. I like red. My like favorite red. color, though, is... You know my favorite color. Three, two, one. Purple? Yes. Good job. Yeah. I change my color all the time. Yeah, you were green for a while. I'm green now. You were... I think you were at I used to tell orange. people black, and then I would get a bunch of shit That's for that. That's right. You were... Well, because you were Agent Zero... No, I, I said black because I liked black. And then and people go, that's you, the absence of color. And I'm like, And Ill. you called yourself Agent Zero. That was, yes. Yeah, it is. Around the same time, yeah. What is, uh, who, what are, my, uh, my dad was born in 1960. What is he? The year of the piece of shit? <laughs> um, hold on. Monkey year. No. <laughs> what am I writing? <laughs> Chinese. Zodiac year 1960. Zodiac year 19 who? 60. 1960. He's a rat. He's a fucking rat. He's a filthy fucking He's rat. He's a filthy fucking rat bastard. 2020, you're the rat. That's yeah, a good it's, year. It's fucking, he got me. He got me. He yeah. did. He got me again. That mm -hmm. son of a bitch. Get out of here. He's wearing a shirt that said exposed. Beautiful. Uh, 2020, you're the rat. Not good. What does it say? Like, you're a little cunning, little, like, piece of garbage dwelling asshole. You want to... Just like talk to a professional no, or something? My, I love my dad. I do. I joke with him though. Why? This is so hard to find. Oh, here we go. Okay. What's his birthday? Uh, I'm not going to give you a social too while For, you're Forget at it. it. I'm going to do my dad's birthday. I, I know. I'll give you my dad's birthday. Nope. You missed your shot, Frank. Right. Now I'm having fun. Yep. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Fine. He's a goat. You're Put dead? Okay. This is how you know. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, let me. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Personality. There's three things. All right. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Calm. Is it really? really? Go. Calm. Level-headed. No. Calm. Loving. <laughs> no. Obedient. Calm is legitimately the first thing. <laughs> that scared me. I would. I would. Of of all the things, I would 
classify your dad. We Tom. joke. We joke around. Your dad's a good guy. Yeah. Not, not calm. calm. Not calm. <laughs> also, the next word, gentle. Definitely not gentle. <laughs> no, he's not. Definitely not he's gentle. Not. We're talking about a man that I would sit next to at dinner, and he used to stab me with his fork all the time. Yeah, but that was because you were a little asshole. I would even even still in, stabbed. But the guy was a firefighter and a contractor. This, those neither of those are very gentle occupations. Oh no, his hands were a fucking nightmare, bro. Dude. Your dad had hands like baseball mitts. Mm-hmm. I legitimately, I don't think he could like grab something without tearing it to shreds. I know, dude. And I've been grabbed by him. <laughs> okay. uh, and the last word is sympathetic. <laughs> I cannot think of three opposite, more opposite words. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I don't know your dad in terms of his <laughs> sympathetic abilities. I mean, he's a, you know what it is? He's more sensitive than he is sympathetic. The guy loves to cry. One time he, he hit a fucking, one time my dad hit, hold on. Uh -oh. I don't know if I told you this story. I'm gonna gear up. Did for I it. tell you the story about how my dad hit a raccoon? No, I hate raccoons. Let them all die. Every single one. Oh, time out. I'll raccoons them, are mad cute. I'll gut them all and fucking string them up. I hate them all. Them and possums. Well, possums are gross because they so have are mean, raccoons. A little. Yeah, fucking. no, possums have mean faces, but raccoons are cute. But they eat garbage. Let me be very clear. Yeah. All of them can go. Whatever, dude. So anyway, my dad was driving, and he hit a raccoon. Okay. Right. My, and then he comes through the door, right? And we're all like in the living room and we're watching TV. And he comes through the door and he's like, <sighs> and we're like, what's going on? Like, you yeah. were like in panic what's mode, going? Because you never see your dad like that. And he sits down like at the landing of the stairs. And he's just like, I hit a raccoon. <laughs> and we were like, <laughs> I was thinking like the worst thing Bro, ever. If I hit a raccoon, I'd celebrate. Bro, he was, and he then at one point he was like, "I swear to God," he's like, "I'm not kidding you, Joe. I would rather hit a kid." What? I swear to God, he said that. Did he, and and he fucking meant it. Dude. You think so? Yeah. And then the next that's, time, that's the scary part. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, there had to have been a, a thing of yeah, that's that's that again. Uh, but there was a time where Keith or Shannon was in the car with him, and then he was driving by the spot where he hit the raccoon, and then he's like, "See, this is where I hit him," <laughs> and then he goes. He pretends he's playing a trumpet. Ba, ba, da. <laughs> <laughs> it he was did a bad fucking funny. salute to this goddamn raccoon. Yeah, he did. I try to avoid hitting any animals, but my theory is like, if you're dumb enough to get under my car, you're dumb enough to get fucking squashed by it. Dude, I've almost like flipped my car trying not to hit squirrels and shit. The squirrels? other day, I almost fucking buried a cat. Bro, I went, I went, I went over a bird once. And I heard the crunch pop. Oh! I heard it, and I I was actively driving, and like Becca would, like looked at me, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, but they're yes. but they're 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 sky rats, you know what I mean? Like who cares? Once once I hit it, it, it was quick. The soul left its body, went to wherever it had to go, and that was it. It was done. One time I thought I hit like a like a kid with my car. That would be terrifying. Yeah, I was pretty scared. Um, I was in the car with Keith. And uh, I hit, you, you I hit something. You couldn't have been. Oh, is this the story you always tell me where, like, you were in the car with Keith and, like, something happened? And he was, like, and it was dead quiet. And he goes, see, this is what I'm talking about, Joe. <laughs> and you were, like, N what? What are you talking about? That was when Charlie was in the back seat and I had to slam my brakes because someone backed out of their driveway mad fast. And Keith just snapped and just went, see, this is what I'm talking about. And we hadn't talked about it. And I was, like, talking about what? What are you saying? No, there was no basis for no, the conversation. But I, I hit this thing and then I... I was like, we were dry because we were like singing or something, and I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I hit something, so I kept going, and then I was like, I have to circle the block. Like, what the fuck did I hit? Like, I think it was a box, like a cardboard box, and I went back and it was, but I was like so scared for a second. Well, you're a good anyway, person because if it was a kid, you just went right back to the scene of the crime. Well, I just wanted to see if it was a kid, and then I would have left. <laughs> gotcha. You would have been like, oh, it was. Oh, oh fucking right through, on the run, right. <laughs> Would you, like, if you would hit, like, someone, would you stop and get out? Or would you, like, take off? What do you think? I don't know. You think if I hit a human being with my car that I would continue driving? I'd probably get out and then put a bullet in my face. <laughs> nah, if it's a little tap, it's not that bad. If you're hitting them fast, then you got a problem. No, I've only hit that one guy. Well, he hit me. You hit someone? Dude, the guy on the oh, motorcycle. The, the, that got me the, fired, the that fucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. I, um, one of my ex-girlfriends uh, was getting like stalked and harassed by a guy who was trying to sue her and her dad because she opened the car, and he went. He was on a bike and went through the window. 
That's fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was pretty. Damn, dude. I, I wish that kind of wish that would happen because I don't see falling off a bike being that painful. It would be pretty rad if you got hit like that. One of my these guys that I know, they own a clothing store in Brooklyn, and they were like. Yo, look at this video, and they showed me on their phone. It was like right outside their shop, so they had like the thing, and someone just like opened their door, and a guy on a bike came and just fucking sent it. Yeah, over the thing went flying. Car almost hit him. It was crazy. That's kind of like if it's if it's bad, it's not cool. But if it's cool, it's rad. You know what I'm saying? Please stop saying rad <laughs> like a fucking skateboard. Yeah, it's, it's it's a word that I'm trying to bring back. You know. Yeah. Wait, what's your dad's birthday? December 16th, 1960. December 16th. He's the year of the rat. I need to hear these words to, to come up to discuss my dad. 1960. Quick-witted. Uh, yeah, you know what? Honestly, he can be. Say what? This next one is very true. Resourceful. Uh, he is resourceful. He's very resourceful. He'll, he'll, you'll go to sleep and wake up, and he built a full table out of nothing. Versatile. Yeah, I could say he's versatile. Kind. Uh, yeah, he can He can be. He can be, but then he can. There are other times he can't be. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes he's like, yeah. That's all of us, babe. Yeah. Very we kind, all can be kind. Be kind, be loving. Your dad likes to hold your hand, kiss he you. Did, he did until a very uncomfortable. Yo, if it was age. up to your dad, he'd kiss the fuck. He'd kiss the shit out Bro, of you. Bro, my dad would kiss the fucking lights off me. You should kiss him for like Christmas. No, that's that's. I'm too old now. I have, I have kids of my own. You think of my if my kids see me kissing my daddy, it's fucking over for them. No, no. Bro, I will tell the Dude, kids. Dude, Ruby in their doesn't class, know what's going on. You can smooch your dad. I will tell not. the kids in their class to bully them for it. If I knew, <laughs> bro, if I knew yeah, your if dad, yeah, you knew because you're a fuck. <laughs> if I knew your dad kissed his dad, you would be called <laughs> in 2006. You'd be called gay so hard, bro. Uh, bro, my dad kissing his dad. Yeah. Oh wow. No, my grandpa, dude. That would have not flown with him. Was he like your dad on steroids? I didn't know him too well, but like from what Thomas tells me and like my cousins, and shit, he's like, yeah, this is the funniest fucking guy really? in the world. Yeah. What else does it say about my dad? Uh, oh, that was it. Those are the anything only... about him loving me? No, 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 nothing no, in there nothing like that. In there. Okay. So. I know you're looking for answers. Consistent. But I just don't have them for you, buddy. <laughs> uh, Anyway, let's get to these first uh, couple of ads that we have here. The first one being BetterHelp. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp, folks. Uh, BetterHelp is online counseling. You talk to a therapist. Get on there. Uh, they'll connect you with someone, and uh, you can start talking in just under 48 hours. Uh, as the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Way more affordable than in-person therapy. That can be just insanely expensive, especially if you don't have the right insurance. Um, all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. Uh, if things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist. Um, no waiting rooms or traffic or you know anything like that. Um, and on top of it being affordable, you can also save 10% on your first month at betterhelp.com slash basementyard. That is 10% off of your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement yard so if uh, you're interested in getting some therapy this would be a good way to do it folks go save some money on that first month um, and also here we have simply safe simply safe is great uh, it is an award-winning home security system Frankie has simply safe in his house they have little things that come so it's like if a you know a window goes open and there's a beep or the front door or something just so you can keep an eye on your stuff you know and they also have alarms it's 24 7 professional monitored by professionals 24 <laughs> 7 uh and it costs just a dollar a day very affordable uh and worth it too um they have hd security cameras for inside and outside your home smarter ways to detect motion uh that only alert you when a threat is real um you know, don't miss this chance to save big when you protect your home with the best. Get 40% off your order when you visit simplysafe.com slash basement, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash basement. Again, 40% off your order when you go to simplysafe.com slash basement. So go get it, folks. All right. And uh, I wanted to, uh, <laughs> I guess, start this episode yeah, by... I, someone tweeted recently, and it was like, podcast host 40 minutes into an episode like all right let's dive right in <laughs> and it's like yeah that, that might be us we will takes us longer we will dive in and talking about the patreon though patreon.com slash oh. basement yard i want to make sure i put this in there and let people know uh look hold on 
We are. We have to hit it this month. Yeah. We're at we're at eleven thousand five hundred something right now. We need under five hundred people to join the Patreon to hit twelve thousand, and then we're gonna do professional drag. And I I'm I need to do it. You need oh you need to scratch that itch. You just need to confirm. I need to see what I look like in full drag. Bad. Yeah. I, I'll <laughs> tell you this. Chances are you look good. Yeah? Yeah, I would say so. I think you look pretty good. I feel like I'm going to be able to sing really well because I'm dressed like that. You Does think, that make sense? I th- you know, honestly, want to know something? I do think that it'll help you sing. Yeah. Not you. I think, like, whoever's in drag, they're just better at everything. Not everything. I'll fucking cross well, up a performing. drag queen. Perform- okay. <laughs> Put a drag queen out there on the courts. You say that now. A drag queen's going to come out and, like, fucking 18-inch 18- 18 pumps and start crossing you up. Probably. Uh, but it, it, what we're talking about, guys, is the Patreon account. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. It's not a very laborious task. All oh, you have to do is go to that website shit. and join today in order to support Joey and I. If we get to 12,000, we're doing that drag episode, and there's exclusive content on there that nobody else gets a chance to see. Sign up for that first tier. You get weekly episodes a week in advance. You sign up for that second tier. Boop, boop. You get exclusive episodes <laughs> every single Friday. Me getting waxed. Joey doing an enema. There's a bunch of stuff on there. And yeah. you can watch all the old stuff as well as whatever comes out new. So patreon.com slash the basement yard. We might be able to do it this month, Joe. Yeah, I think so. I think we have to hit it this if you, month. If, if, maybe we should make that part of like the episode. If, if and when we get into drag, we have to like sing two songs that we think will be really good for us. What songs would you pick? It's Rain of Men. You're going very typical. All the first time. It's a good song. It is a good song. Yeah, I am going typical. You're going typical. I would go something like that you wouldn't think of. Like what? Uh, Laffy Taffy by D4L? Uh, now, hold on a sec. You might be on to something. Yeah, it's a good no, song. No, I, I would say uh, Copacabana by Barry Manilow. Copacabana? Yeah. That's a good song, right? I guess. It's a very good song. Uh, <sighs> Can I ask you a question? No. I'm going to ask it. I know. I know you are. It's a podcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's dive right in. <laughs> what do you think the least manly thing about you is? Ooh. Or maybe just text your wife and ask her, what do you think the least manly thing about me is? I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask right now. It's a fun question. Uh, Are you handy? Am I, I, I'm handy, but I, I struggle because she's very handy. Oh. So, like, she'll be like... So, you're, she's more handy. She's more handy. So, she'll just be like, I want to, like, do this. And I'm like, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Jesus you know? Christ. Go even on your phone Sorry. there, bucko. I just said that. That was words yeah, that just came out bucko? of my mouth just now. What's the least manly thing about me? Let's see what she says. I have. What, a what do you think the least manly thing about me is? Hmm. <laughs> the choices. The choices. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's that's tough. I I think like you're pretty prototypical. Like, damn. I would say. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I I, I don't know. I'm trying to think. You you're you're a little bit of a metrosexual. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. You know what the least manly thing about you is? I'm not enough of a metrosexual. No. Uh oh. Wait, the, well, hold on. What the fuck are you gonna say now, bitch? I'm gonna tell you, bitch. Yeah, let me hear it. I've said this to you before. Yeah. You use the word nudies. Yeah, that's that's a little. I hate it. Yeah, but that's not like nudes. But he says naked nudies. Naked pictures. I say nudies. But no, you don't. You say nudies. No, no, like, no. I'm saying that's what nudies are. Naked like if pictures. a celebrity's pictures like leak on the internet, he's like, yo, did you hear about uh, Scarlett Johansson's nudies? And I'm like, you're a grown man and I'm yeah, a grown well, man. Well, and for, you're nudie. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You nudie. It's a, word that, it's a word that I've used since the early times. So it just stuck with me. The early times? Yes. Were you a dinosaur? Yes, it's, since nudies became since a thing. Since BC. You've since been using nudies. Since nudies became a thing, it has been a part of the vocabulary. Nudies is a word that children use to describe noodles. Oh, well. It's not for nude <laughs> pictures. I will say, now that I'm thinking about it, but I never referred to noodles as nudies or nudes. They were just piscetti to me. Piscetti. Yes, I didn't know how to say spaghetti as a kid. So you called them piss. Oh, shit. <laughs> she had a good answer? Oh, shit. What was it? She said, your high-pitched cough. <laughs> 
Your high pitched cough. I guess I have a high pitched cough. Cough. Well, you could do a fake cough. I really could do well. a fake cough. Well, I could do a fake sneeze really well. But like, I don't. I think I jokingly cough. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think I really. Is it a joke though? If it's every time. But no, I sneeze like in a joking manner, and you do too. I'll sneeze. I'll go like. Oh. Cho! Yeah, yeah. You know. That was very like Japanese anime. Shit. What? Too much? Racist. Racist. A little, maybe a little bit. Whatever. Are you talking about China? We're in Japan. Where else are we going? <laughs> Let's go to one of the Koreas. Which your favorite one? Your favorite you're one. You're telling you're like, oh my god, I love going north. I want to go so bad. No, you're like, yo, you're, I want to go to North Korea. I mean, you're in the monkey. I love going up north. That's my favorite direction. So there you I, go. That's my okay, favorite one. Okay, so maybe I did say that North Korea sounds cool, but you did say that you no. agree with the government no, and how they no, govern no. the people. No, I said I agree. You were like, yo, I, 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 I love the fact that the they, they have security said, no, cameras no, no, everywhere. No, no, no. I said I agree with the government. I, I said in South Korea, it's probably very safe there. No, 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 yeah, no, no. You were the one that was all about the You were like, yo, they should just break down the border of South Korea and make the whole thing North Korea. You referred to them as my brothers up north. In the great, <laughs> in the great white north, that's what you called it. <laughs> uh, what what else is manly? Least manly about me? Uh, Do you think? Here's a question. Yeah, we're completely not going to get to any of our topics. Nope. Do you think you would be able to live with me as a roommate? I don't know. I I don't know how you live though. I live pretty. I mean, yeah, you could say it, but we've never like. I know, no, no, no. I, I, I'm very aware of my flaws. Like, there are certain things I know I need to get better at, but I think overall I'm pretty tidy and clean. Okay. I don't, I don't think you are. No, I'm tidy. You're a little dirty boy. No, the only thing I'm bad at is laundry, laundry piles, and the dishes. No, I, I'm better at dishes oh, now. Oh, well, you, you finally got better. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> in my late twenties and early thirties. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I like went through a small. I think there was a point in time where you and I discussed possibly living together. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, I think it was like right around college time we had discussed like the possibility of us being roommates. I don't remember that. Would that but have been good for our friendship or bad? I I don't. Probably fine. I think it would have been all right. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. But I will say that I think I could decorate an apartment better than you. Because without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt, there'll be posters of Thanos everywhere. Well, hold on, hold the fuck on, okay? <laughs> the, my poster days are way behind me, okay? I'm not like some other people we know that are framing posters and putting them in their living room. <laughs> yeah, but you, be, okay? Let's you would have that a, out there. you would have those go go funks. What are they called? Funko I, bucks. I don't have any. I have a couple Funko Funkos. bups. I have a couple Funkos, but they were gifted to me. I don't buy them myself. What are they called? Funko pops. Pops. Funko pops. Okay. Uh, but no, I, I, but yes, <laughs> I, I do think you're probably a better decorator <laughs> yeah. because uh, Becca told me this too. She was like, you don't decorate. You just place things in areas. You'll be, you'll get something and be like, I want to decorate with this. And, okay. <laughs> there, it, there it lies. All right. You know, uh, but she's, yeah, I would say you're probably a better decorator. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a better cooker. I would say, right. Yeah, probably. Uh, I, and I'm probably cleaner than you. I don't know. What are you doing? Looking around this room at the <laughs> eight batteries you've thrown in the corner and have remained there for months. <laughs> yeah, it's different. <laughs> no. This room will never be clean. Um, it. I'll tell you this, though. Watch this. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> okay. All right. Well... What are you gonna do? Um, well, I was gonna get to something, and then I told you. Yeah, you asked me the least manly thing. Also, my oh, girl. since we're talking about us, like wait, whoa, whoa. oh, your fingers. Yeah, my fingers suck, dude. You have very girly fingers. I have very dainty fingers. Yeah, that's why I try to do like power grip stuff. I don't think that's gonna help you because like it's not. It's your. It's your like intent. It's it is. It's my like the process of going to grab something. Like I'll go grab this, and I'll be like that. Yeah, you kind Instead of. Instead, I should be like. I feel like you move like Voldemort with your hands. Like you know how he's like you know how he uses his wand and he's like yeah, barely touching it. A thousand percent. But, but like right. that's what you do with your hands. You're like, oh, let me let me see that. And you're very like, like C this. Clawy? Yeah, you're like Why are like you a bird. Me, whoa, whoa slow you're, the you're fuck like a, a, All right, now this is turning into like being a talons, person. kind of. It's like it's like you're like let me see that, and you will try to grab something small like this. Well, because I have big hands. Well, no, you just you could just pick something up like. But no, I do have big hands. You don't. You've never picked something up God, like this. God Almighty, please tell me I have big hands. 
<laughs> I don't know. You probably have bigger eyes than me. I, de- I definitely do. Okay. Yeah. Show me your balls. Yeah, you want to see my dick? <laughs> no, I, I, I do do that. Like when he's like, you know, I'm going to get up. Yeah. I would, I would hold my, my wand like a fucking wine glass. Yeah, you kind of like. I would. You're like a wizard with your hands. I am a wizard with my fingers. <laughs> I've been told that. Yeah. Uh, but since we're talking about uh, this, I, I found this story. Um, now I have to find it on fucking Google. Google that. But there was a woman who. <laughs> on, I have my phone. If I knew where the fuck that shit was. Um, but a woman became. <laughs> there was a story that the New York Post put up, uh, and the title was so funny. Oh, here it is. Uh, it's my best friend was a seagull. <laughs> Until it attacked me and trashed my house. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a, I'll give you one guess on where they lived. <laughs> no, well, I don't even know where they live. Somewhere by the bay or the sea. No, I was gonna say it's definitely a white person, which it is. Oh, a thousand percent. How do you befriend a fucking seagull, dude? And I don't think black people like birds. Expand on that. I don't. I don't think they do. Speak for the whole. I, speak for black people. Go ahead. I, I think, no, I think do it's it. Like no, the podcast is doing well. Ruin it, Frank. <laughs> off. Should we cut that out? No, I'm Was joking. that offensive? I don't know, Frankie. I think it's a bit. Last time I spoke, it's a bit. It's a comedy. Last time I went to the meeting, uh, a black Twitter meeting, I was told that like they don't fuck with birds <laughs> or really Twitter any meeting. animals. To to be honest. Yeah. Except for Tarzan. There's always like a random black dude in like Miami who's like got a snake on him. Yeah, well, that's I'm the like, guy yo. I'm talking about. The guy on Instagram, the Tarzan. Oh, that's not who I was talking about. But he's also, a, he'll be like, yo, he'll cry over like a snapping turtle. He'll be like, this is the most <laughs> beautiful ancient dinosaur. And I was like, dude, it's, it's a fucking snapping turtle. Dude, when people get to hug lions and shit, I get real fucking jealous. I kind of want to hug a lion. A big fucking lion. I want to hug an animal that I can't put my arms around. Mm-hmm. Oh, yo, if you had to hug one animal, which would it be? Three, two, wait a sec. Oh, no, the answer is obvious, Frank. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a couple. I would really like to hug a bear. Bro, a panda. Oh, yeah, there you go, a panda bear, yeah. yeah. Oh, my I would God. love to hug a panda bear. Apparently, they're pretty vicious. Yeah, apparently, they're not sweet at all. But I would fucking hug that bitch. I would, I would like to just, like... Just a little hug, nothing crazy. Yeah. Apparently, koalas are real nasty little bitches, too. Are those the slow ones? Oh, no, those, those are, are sloths. sloths, you dumb idiot. Yeah, but, but a koala is just like a quicker sloth. They're is the it? the same animal to no, me. No, I think they have like sharp talons. I think they look the same. Sloth? First of all, koalas and sloths do not look the same, Joey. <laughs> sloths have like fucking like, you know, slender man arms. And koalas are like small teddy bears. Eh, they look similar. No, they don't. You ever heard about the animal that its fur smells of buttered popcorn? Whoa, what? It's called a binturum. Binturum? Yeah. What is it? Like a, like a... It's like a giant rat. Oh, ew. Yeah, it looks pretty sick, but it smells like buttered popcorn. Binturum. B-I-N-T-A-R-A-M, I believe. B-I-T... What? B-I-N-T-A-R-A-M, I believe. Legitimately, I'm looking at a political figure, man. Oh, okay. Like, I'm like, a, like a fucking... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wrote know. bent... <laughs> Google's Google 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 goes. <laughs> Google goes. Did you mean bent rim? Yeah, that's what I'm searching. Bent rim. I'd like to see pictures of bent rims. Um, but anyway, this woman uh, became besties with a seagull during the COVID pandemic, <laughs> and then the bird turned on her, trashing her home and biting her nose. Yeah, that sounds about right. Those fucking little pieces of shit. They're ruthless. She was 41, man. She uh, went viral on TikTok. 2.3 million views. That's nothing. Nothing like the basement yard. <laughs> on TikTok, say what's up. That's crazy. Oh my god, there's a fucking photo of the bird, of the bird biting her. Let me see. Bro, crushed her. Look at this woman. Got fucking eight. Damn, dude. Why does that look like a fat Amy Poehler? It does, right? But that that bird just fucking torched you. Listen, I'm gonna take a page out of your book and victim blame for a sec. Okay. What do you expect? Of all the animals to become friends with, a seagull? Seagull, bro. They're fucking conniving. Yeah, I don't know about all that. You might as well put the knife in your back. They're ready to kill you. He bit my nose, I threw him out the window, and suddenly my veneer was in my mouth. (laughs) What? 
Like Isn't a, it a veneer tooth? You popped a tooth out? I decided to give him a cuddle, but before I let him go, he pecked me. I think he was annoyed because he wanted the wedges. Maybe she's she, British. They don't. They they speak like oh, that was, in Britain. She was eating potato wedges. Yeah, she want. He wanted a wedge, and I didn't give it. So then he he pecked my my knackers. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is a f- <laughs> crazy picture of the seagull. All right. Top three thing. animals you would want to befriend. Dude. One. A polar bear. Really? Uh, no, panda bear. What am I saying? Really? Yeah. I would say tiger. Ooh, like jasmine. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. What was it? Remember the, the tiger's name? Raja. Yeah, that's right. I would say a tiger. Shout out to our friend Raja. Who, whom we haven't spoke to in quite possibly 15 years. Still know her. <laughs> um, by the way, uh, yeah. I'm not going to say her first and last name. Was a was a practical joke by her parents. Oh, her last name. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they really set her up for failure there. I want to say it because it's so fun to it's say. So, uh, all right. Imagine if someone's name, like their first name, was Pat, and their last name was like Pat 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 Pat. Pat, Pat, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, Pat, Pat. So I'm not gonna say her last name, but it was basically Pat 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 Pat. Yeah. It was. Um. Yeah, so tiger. Yeah. Chimp. Chimp would be a Wait, real dope friend. But a chimp or like one of, or just like a monkey? A like chimp. You're, you're specifically choosing chimp. A chimp, like one that I can like talk to and shit. Yeah, Frank, what? <laughs> you know, like, or a gorilla, Coco the gorilla. Yeah, but you have to pick one. You can't just say chimp and that, because that All means right, chimpanzees. All right, gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. Good choice. <laughs> it's the best monkey. It's a, it's a good monkey. It is a good monkey. Um, And then... Tiger, gorilla. By the way, who the fuck names spider monkeys? I, Not a spider. I th- well, I think that's like a street name for them. I think their real names are Capuchin. <laughs> Why would they call them spiders? Because they're idiots. Maybe because they climb. I like spider monkeys. All though. monkeys, too. Hate to break it to you. <laughs> All monkeys climb. You know climb. what I mean. So what else? Uh, tiger. I'm taking a gorilla too. Gorilla, yeah, gorilla. I'm taking. I'm befriending things that I can hug. I, I, I guess I would do a bear then, like a grizzly bear. Ooh. Because they they look soft. Yeah, dude. And like I'm friends with them, where like they're not gonna hurt me, you know? Right. But we can wrestle a little bit. I don't know, cause like. Oh no, I want to wrestle. You want to wrestle a bear? Yeah, I wouldn't. I want to wrestle a panda. If I went somewhere where it's like a superly, superly trained panda, and they're like, "Yo, just fight it," but like it won't hurt you, don't worry, and they could guarantee my safety, I'm fighting that thing. No, I wouldn't, and I'll tell you why. People always talk about me and my fighting of animals. Bear is the one that I know I will lose to. People don't talk. You talk about you. No, people, people don't talk about you fighting animals. Talk you about, talk about no, them. No, no, no. People talk about me fighting animals all the time. Okay. But bears can have their claws. You know, they could be like you know filed down. They can have their teeth like not so fucked up. But it's the the sheer strength and weight of this thing that will fucking kill you. Yeah, of course. If because it's sat on you. The claws will scratch you up. Yeah, yeah. But the fact that you're getting hit with a fucking cast iron skillet. Yeah, that will hurt too. That, that'll do it. Do you ever see the video of the people on like a bus and there's fucking bears walking upright? That's the t- most terrifying thing in the world. What? Dude, I would have got off the bus. Bro, I would have been like, yo, these are people. In I would have gotten under the bus in front of the tire and told them to drive straight. <laughs> Fucking Dude, kill me. If I see a bear walking upright, just like, oh. What's going on here? I'd yeah. be like, yo, stop the fucking bus. I'm getting off and hanging out with them. Yeah, because that's listen, Smokey, bro. Smokey Bear. That's that is Yogi Bear too. It's not as jarring when a gorilla does it because that's how they're that's how they do it. Like they're normally walking around, like you know, like no, they're always on their knuckles. And they're yeah, like, but then when they get like real upset, they're like, <laughs> yeah, when they're mad, I get fucking scared. But bears getting up on their hind legs and walking, it's cool. That's fucking terrifying, dude. Nah, that's dope. What about a wolf? Would you want a wolf as a friend? It's like having a dog, I feel like. It is. What, ooh, what about a whale? Or dolphin? No, I'm not really keen on dolphins. The, ever since we learned that That was the they... most British thing I've ever said in my <laughs> life. What am I saying? I'm not really keen on I'm it. I'm not really keen. I don't fancy dolphins. Oh, I pass a spotted dick, yeah? yeah? Yeah. I don't fancy dolphins. Yeah, that was as a little... As much as the next bloke. That was a, that was a little British of you, absolutely. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, 
You're not a big like fish friend boy. Uh, I fuck with whales for sure. I think like my my one of my like bucket list I need to do before I die things is like see a whale breach, yeah. and then I told you like I would be cool with a fucking if I was on a, a fucking canoe or something, and uh, this thing like hit like kind of like breached and then came down and like hit my shit and I f- fell in the water but I was like okay, that would be like the best way to see a whale for me. Oh, I, I, I'll, I don't care about seeing whales jumping in water. Really, dude? Don't care. I think they're so massive that, like, yeah, it would be, it'll insane. be a spectacle. But like afterward, I'll just be like, whoa. I'm only interested in doing stuff I could tell my like friends and family about. That you saw a fucking whale yeah. jump out of the water. Guess who else has seen whales? Anyone that has YouTube, Joey. Okay. Now tell me the cool things about animals that you want to see. And, and and then tell me how you know they're even possible. I want to see... If you haven't seen them before. I want to... I, well, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. I want to see a tiger jump onto, like, up and grab something out of a tree. Uh, you know? But I've seen it on YouTube. Uh, I want to see uh, a wolf howling at the moon upon, you know, a full moon gaze. I want to see... <laughs> I want to see a great white shark breach and grab a, a dolphin going over. That would be cool. I like that That would one. be pretty rad. That one I like. That one I would Not the, What would you say about the wolf? The, the wolf howling at the moon on a hill in front of the great white moon. The great white moon? Yeah. Which organization does he work for, Frank? <laughs> the great white moon. Tell us. The KKK. <laughs> <laughs> the great white moon. I, yeah, I, I just... I. I don't care to see, like, a whale breaching. It's oh, like, dude, you're fucking crazy. It's fine. And then, like, you don't even know if you're going to see it. So, like, you pay all this money to go whale watching, and you might just see this. I know. I, I mean, that's the risk you take. Is it? Yeah, it's like you buy fucking tickets to uh, the zoo. Like, you know, oh, it's feeding time. Oh, they're sleeping. Oh, yeah. I hate that. That, that is. That happens like, a lot. Like, wake ass up. Yeah, come on. Even though I, every time I go to the zoo, I go, this is wrong. But I like it. But... <laughs> I went to the zoo recently with my like uh, nephews, and it was like feeding time for the seals. And I'm and I was walking up, and I was like, "This fucking tank is not it's big so enough." It's so evil, and like yeah, I'm like be out enjoying. Yeah, I was like, "This tank is not big enough for whatever." And one of them was like making a noise. I'm like, "He's probably upset." Mm-hmm. And then as soon as they started throwing fish at this thing, and it was catching in its mouth, I was like, "This is fucking awesome!" Out and the we window. should make more zoos. Out the window. You yeah. love that goddamn zoo. I love all the zoos. I don't blame you, honestly. I haven't been to the Bronx Zoo in mad long. <sighs> yeah, I think the last time I went was when you and I went for your yeah, school like project. Yeah, it was like 7th grade or something. No, you were in high school at that point. No, I wasn't, Frank. I, I am very confident that you were not in 7th grade. You think in my Catholic high school, they sent me to the Bronx Zoo. <laughs> yeah. It was It was not. Yeah, they wanted you to go there and talk about all the animals that were on the ark. <laughs> They wanted you to be like, he was there, he was there, he wasn't there. Yeah, yeah you know, so <laughs> I think that's like, you know, probably say it. not say true. It. Say it, go ahead. <laughs> but how how crazy would it be if there was a guy who built a ship and got two of all those animals on it? Yeah. Yo, what do you think would happen if you put all of those animals... On Noah's Ark, actually together in the bottom of a ship, it'd be mayhem. They'd kill each other. Yeah, the uh, the They're logistics. Gonna sit there and help you row. The logistics don't really work out. Uh, I think it was just to survive the Great Flood. I don't think it was as much. Uh, I I know people yeah, just that keep the animals alive. Bro. I know people that are pretty clear that they are like they they state that there is like hard concrete evidence that it actually was real. Cool. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we have ads. There it is. I didn't. I didn't offend the, the religious people this time. You did. I would love to see the ship. Uh, I'm sure there's a ship. I'm sure there's a ship. But come on, you can't. F- you could put fish. I mean, the thing though, yeah, that's the part that I would be fish. a little confused by. But you don't need to put the fish on the ark, Joey, because of the great flood. Okay. <laughs> that was a bad one. Yeah, that, that was one's good. One. You ain't doing yourself any favors. No, I am not. You graduated, right? What's up? You graduated high school? Yeah. 
<coughs> no honors or anything, but I had a I had a cap and gown. Um, all right, let's get to these ads. I we have Rocket Money. Rocket Money uh, is going to help you. Who they're formerly known as uh, True Bill. They're going to help you stop wasting your money on subscriptions that you're not even using. By the way. Uh, all of us have signed up for free trials in our lives and then we forget about them and it's like, oh, it's $3 and you don't really notice it coming out of your account and then you've been paying for it for the last two years. You want to get rid of that, okay? They actually have a thing here. 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. 80%, okay? So probably you is what we're trying to say. So uh, with Rocket Money, they will help you identify these things and you can cancel them. Um, people are saving so much money doing this. Uh, it could save you hundreds of per year doing this. You know, a lot of people have like 10 different things that they sign up for. People just like signing up for stuff and they like free trials and they forget about them. So use the app, all your subscriptions in one place and they cancel the ones you don't want uh, for you. Uh, it can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You know, it's great. So you can cancel unnecessary subscriptions with Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash basement. Uh, like I said, it could save you hundreds of dollars doing this. Cancel all these subscriptions that you're not using. Rocketmoney.com slash basement. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Again, rocketmoney.com slash basement. Go save, you, go save yourself some money. Uh, and lastly here, we have prize picks, which is a lot of fun, especially during the football season. Okay. How does it work? You pick two to five players, and, and uh, if they – score more or less than their prize picks projection, you can win up to 10x your money on any entry, okay? Uh, you're not competing against other people. It's just you versus the projection. So you can go into a game and be like, all right, Tom Brady, he's going to throw over one and a half touchdowns. Is he going to throw more than one and a half touchdowns? I think so. So then you would pick more. Um, and then you can win money doing that. And they have everything. Uh, they have NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, PGA, cricket disc golf i didn't even know you could i where's that on tv i have no idea uh entries can be made in 60 seconds or less it's that easy safe and fast withdrawals uh it's currently operational in 30 states in canada so you can download the prize picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up and play uh and uh first time users can receive a 100 percent instant deposit match up to a hundred dollars with promo code uh basement so if you deposit a hundred dollars they will match that the hundred dollars and you'll have 200 to play with um so yeah if you don't if you the same thing if you put in 50 dollars, then they'll put in 50 dollars. then you have 100 uh so yeah don't forget the promo code is basement at sign up for an instant deposit match up to 100 dollars. so have fun out there and go play all right and uh i think that it's only right since we're talking about it. <laughs> jesus christ dude that's a that's a joke for our Video watchers. Yeah, I guess. Here, all of them. Um, but uh, apparently you said this before the um, the episode started, that there's new evidence of Bigfoot. Yeah, man. So this is an animal. Bi we had a bug episode uh, last time. Yeah, I didn't. We're, yeah. Having a, we're having an animal episode this time. Where do you sit on the whole Bigfoot debacle? Where do I sit? Yeah, like are you on the side of people that are like, you know, absolutely, bro. There's no Bigfoot. It's just people fucking around. Or are you on the so, side that's like Bigfoot's real? Or are you on the side that's just like I don't care. I want to just smoke weed. <laughs> I think I know what side you're on. So, uh, I think it's possible that Bigfoot exists, but it's not like a Bigfoot. It's like a species. A species of foots. No, no. Bigfoot refers to a species, not necessarily one bigfooted man. What is it? Man. Like, I know it's like a, a, a collection of foots. Of, of bigfoots. Of big fights. Of big, yeah, big big fight. Yeah, that's what you call multiple bigfoots. Is big fight. Big fight. Um, and I believe that they could exist, but a lot of people have, like my dad, bro. My dad loves bigfoot. He bro. actually was worried about me going to Seattle because he's like, you know, they've seen bigfoot over there. I was like, cool. Bro, I'm sh if bigfoot is real, it's got to be like one of those things where he's like cool you know what i mean like he's not like hurting people and shit like that well i mean they're like eight feet tall yeah what are they gonna do what, just like bro i big can't, massive fuckers i'm not saying if bigfoot was real i'd be able to beat up bigfoot but i would definitely be able to empathize with this animal and get it to not hurt me yeah you keep saying that but you don't even know one if they exist and mm -hmm. two no 
I think so. Okay. You don't think I could, like, I would be able to figure it out? I'll say this. If me and you were in the woods. Yeah. And a Bigfoot shows up. Yep. Right? Uh-huh. And you start your whole little gaslighting I'm not thing. gaslighting. You're making you're me sound like a bad person here, Joey. So you're trying to make it to trick it, right? making me sound like a real, it, right? just like, piece of work. So you're trying to trick this this Bigfoot. The Bigfoot. And then at one, and then as you're trying that, you're looking at me and you're like, and then it just picks you up and breaks you in half and starts eating you <laughs> for like a split second. I'm going to go, good. <laughs> It's been settled. And then I'm going to go, oh, no. But then, but, then but there's going to be a moment, and it's going to be the fir- <laughs> It's going to be my initial see, reaction. It's going to go, hmm. I think your initial reaction would be like, oh, my God. And then you get home, and you'd be like, I knew it. I think that's what I would, would definitely be. give it, like, a few months. And then I'd be at a bar, and I was like, bro, this kid's an idiot, <laughs> dude. I don't. I would, I would do, like, the, I'd get low. I'd put my hands out. I'd show them that I'm not a threat. You know, I'd get low. And I'd be like, hi, Bigfoot. You, you know, would get low. I'd get low, like, like little John and the Eastside Boys. <laughs> you know. Get low, get low, get. Low. <laughs> what do we know? <laughs> I'd I'd pop lock and drop it for a Bigfoot. You're like I would get low. Yeah, like, damn, I, you're trying to fuck this Bigfoot. <laughs> you just picture me just. Yo, dancing. Bigfoots probably have crazy dicks. You ever well, think about that? Those motherfuckers are eight foot tall, four feet wide. Dick probably. Bro, e- easily, no no joke, flaccid, 16 inches. Yeah, and you know they're not wearing underwear. That shit is just fucking no, bouncing around the and woods. And hairy and gross as hairy shit. Hairy as fuck, dude. And listen, but probably doesn't work great. Not a lot of Bigfoots around. We don't know that. So this conspiracy is that, or the theory is that they use wormholes to travel. I know this because of my bro, fucking father. Your yeah. dad's an idiot, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Wormholes. Yeah, my dad believes in everything, bro. Does he? You could tell him something. Like, anything that sounds like what? He's he's on board. Yeah? Like, yeah. Like, wormholes and fucking eight-footed, long-dicked, hairy men. He's like, cool. Yep. Well, I, I believe in long-dicked, hairy men. I've seen a couple. Yeah. I would say, but the, them that live in the forest I yeah. would, and, and are a different species, I don't know about that. Yeah, apparently people have seen them. There's a whole, people who dedicate their lives to this. Like their job is big for I tracking. love that so much because there'll be like new documentaries. I'll always see like commercials for them on like, you know, the History Channel and it's like finding Bigfoot and yeah. it's like, oh, 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 and it's like someone like running through the woods and it's like, bro, if you actually did, we would have heard about it and we didn't. So they're not they you didn't find them. I just saw a video before we whatever. Yeah, I show I showed you one or I, I sent one to you. A guy claimed that he killed one. Oh, I don't know about that. And then that. sent photos and I'm like, I don't know if I believe this. I don't believe anything that I don't physically get my hands on. Yeah, I can't either. Oh, like That's like when I watch a magic trick, I go, he's in on it. Yeah. Like yeah, you yeah. got to do it to me. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then even when I do it, I'm like, wait, am I in on it? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like bro, I would, I would need to. Have you have you been to a magic show? No, bro. I'm telling you, go. I've been to a hypnotist. Yeah, but you're not. You have to be prone. No, I wasn't. I wasn't the hypnotist. Yeah, but I th- I hate that because I'm like, oh, 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 be a chicken. All of a sudden, this guy's a chicken. I'm like, this guy's in on it. Fuck you. All right, here's a good story. So it was my freshman year of college. It was like the first week we moved in, and they had, you know, like they do uh, all those like. Oh wait, I think you told this story. I I might have, but they tell they do all these like events for like first year students, and they had a hypnotist show up, and a kid from our suite went up there, and he was like, "I'm hypnotizing him. He's a bird," and the kid didn't move, just no sold it the whole time, the whole time, the whole time, the whole time, nothing, 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 and then afterward we asked him, we were like, "What happened?" He's like, he he like whispered in my ear, like, "Just, just go along with it." But he just didn't? Didn't sell it at all. <laughs> it's fucked didn't up. Sell. And there was another girl who became like a car. I think he was like, you're a Kardashian. And she was like walking the stage like like real, like hamming it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't I don't know if I believe in those. Yeah. I don't. I, don't, I tend to not with hypnotism. I, I think that there's like a medical hypnotism that like has like benefits with like the swinging of the stop watch in front of someone's face no that's like witches and shit but like no that's watch. not witches that's like people that have stop watches magic though is incredible dude i don't believe in magic it's not real i know well but it's amazing it is impressive how they do some of the things i get a little Bro. upset when i watch it though dude the place i went to you have to go anyone who's in new york or the mckittrick hotel the shit was fucking fire Damn, just free plug just throwing their name yeah. out there first you go last. in it's like a smoky like it feels like a lounge where like people are getting like blown and people don't care that people can see. 
and then you can get champagne and then the the magicians it's like a rotating cast and they keep coming to your table and like doing tricks and shit bro they're some wild shit i wouldn't i wouldn't trust that shit i wouldn't i'd be afraid honestly what the fuck are you afraid of i mean i'm being afraid because like i I would be the one that jumps on the stage and strangles them. And it's like, how the fuck did you do that? No, they sit at your table. No, nah, fuck that. Absolutely he's not. he's right here and he does the trick in front of you. It's I, fucking crazy. You know what else would freak me out? The people that are like sleight of hand artists. Yeah, take your watch off and you? They're like, and they're like, like, you like my watch? And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't like that shit. I don't want that shit. Bro, it's, this guy did a trick where like he came over. I don't know if this is correct, but it was like something like where he, he came over and immediately he handed like a little box to someone. And then was like, just hold that for the whatever. Don't let me touch it. Then he had me sign a card and then fold it up. And then whatever the fuck happened. And it was in the fucking box by the end. And like, there was like five tricks in the middle of that, that he was just doing other shit. And then he's like, and then he was like, all right, thanks. That's my time. And then we're like, what about the fucking box? And he's like, oh yeah, open that. And my fucking card with my signature was on. He never touched it. I was like, what the fuck? I don't like it. It was shit. weird. I don't like it. That's yeah, it was telling. crazy. I, I was like, yo. I don't like that shit because I would sit there and I would I would put a gun to that magician's head and be like, tell me how the fuck you did that right now. Yeah. Because I don't like it. It freaks me out because like if it. it is some like fucking tricky dark magic shit, then I want to know how to do it because I need the Powerball numbers. You know what I'm saying? So the dream's over now. Oh, well, yeah. That guy, like, a single guy, one guy out in California won it. You believe that shit? And we don't have his name, huh? Oh, well, no, you're not going to get his name. But it, I'll tell you this. It wasn't me. Yeah, I know. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. No, it wasn't me. I'll just wait till it gets up to $2 billion again. It will. Eventually. I would... Bro, if you were to pull down your pants right now and say, you get $2 billion, lick my balls. <laughs> bro, you would never need to have your balls licked ever again. Okay. Yes, I would. $2 billion. <laughs> Two billion dollars. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, Jesus. Um, but yeah, I think that's all we can do for today, folks. Like I said, uh, all right, let's dive right in. Let's dive right in. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna stop right at Frankie offering to lick my balls uh, for two billion dollars. Uh, you guys go join the Patreon though, Patreon.com/slash Basement Yard. We are less than five hundred away from hitting twelve thousand. We need to do it. Also, it would catapult us in like the top twenty on Patreon, which would be sick. And it'll also keep a roof over our heads, which that is nice to do as well, right? Oh, Joey's not caring about roofs. Look at that. He's just slamming a vanilla house. F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Check it out all the places. And then patreon.com slash the basement yard. Make sure you sign up today. Yep. And uh, go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram, and that is all. See you guys next time. Yeah, we will.